one and all. Ladies and gentlemen, to The Late Show, I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Well, yet another close advisor to President Trump has betrayed him. The White House is basically a reboot of The Last Supper, Oops, All Judases. <laughs> now, that's a, dis that's a really disturbing image. Now, now we know for certain why Trump didn't get a dog, because he knows the dog's just gonna write a tell-all, White House Broken, My Rough Tenure as Presidential Pet. <laughs> By Sparky. Sparky is the name of that dog, in case you're wondering. The latest person to turn on Trump is former Trump advisor and realtor giving you a business card at a funeral, Omarosa Manigal <laughs> Newman. Omarosa has written a salacious new book filled with shocking details that you already knew. <laughs> and today on where? On today. Today on today, she explained the subtle meaning behind the book's title. The book is called Unhinged. Thank Who you. does that refer to? Oh, Donald J. Trump, absolutely. Oh, Trump? Oh, Donald J. Trump. I know oh. that guy. So Trump is the one who's unhinged. I thought the title referred to what Stephen Miller does with his jaw to eat his breakfast gazelle. <laughs> that is... <laughs> from, the, from the front. You go from the front. Her most shocking allegation is that she had heard a tape of The Celebrity Apprentice where Donald Trump used the N-word. Did you hear the tape, or did you hear a description of the tape? After I closed the book, I had an opportunity to go out in Los Angeles and sit down with the person who actually has a copy of the tape, and I heard his voice as clear as you and I are sitting so you here. You have heard the tape? I have heard Since the publication tape. of this book? Absolutely. It confirmed that he is truly a racist. This is huge. <laughs> this is huge, Sean. Finally, Big move. we didn't know. Finally, we didn't know. We Finally, no we have proof we didn't know. <laughs> that the guy who refused to rent to black tenants said that a Nazi Klan rally had some fine people and called Africa a <laughs> hole is a racist. <laughs> that is. Tear up your history books. You re rewrite the history books. I, I we had didn't no know. Idea. Had no idea. And it gets weirder. Amorosa says she walked into the Oval Office one day after Trump was having a meeting with Michael Cohen. Cohen's leaving. She walks in. She sees the president chewing up a piece of paper. I saw him put a note in his mouth. Since Trump was ever the germaphobe, I was shocked he appeared to be chewing and swallowing the paper. It must have been something very, very sensitive. <laughs> well, the hunt for Trump's tax returns just got way grosser. <laughs> that is... Amor <laughs> Amorosa also revealed that Trump had big plans for the art of the deal, writing that Trump wanted to use his own book for his swearing in. She asked, instead of the Bible, yeah, the art of the deal is a bestseller. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's absolutely true. The art of the deal was a bestseller. It sold over one million copies, which is pretty close to the Bible's five billion copies. <laughs> Fun fact, they're both ghostwritten. <laughs> and thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you for you. your service. And Amorosa is not just relying on her memory here. She secretly recorded her meetings in the White House, including Chief of Staff John Kelly firing her in the Situation Room. The Situation Room? No, the Situation Room is for wars and for blitzers. <laughs> you can't use the Situation Room as an all-purpose meeting room. Uh, attention, staff, it's Susan's birthday. There are cupcakes in the Situation Room. <laughs> also, there's an ISIS convoy closing in on Raqqa. Could someone blow that up, please? Thank you. <laughs> anyway, here's the tape of Omarosa getting fired. I'd like to see this be uh, uh, a friendly departure. Um, there are pretty significant uh, legal issues that we hope uh, don't develop into something that, uh, that will make it ugly for you, and then you can go on without any type of uh,
difficulty in the future relative to your reputation. General Kelly, you work for Donald Trump. I wouldn't worry about other people's reputations. <laughs> Not only, yeah. Not only did she tape her firing, Omarosa taped Trump's reaction. Omarosa, what's going on? I just saw on the news that you're thinking about leaving. What happened? General Kelly, General Kelly what came happened? to me and said that you guys wanted me to leave. No, I, I, nobody even told me about it. Nobody, wow. you know, they run a big operation, but I didn't know it. I didn't know that. Yeah. Damn it. I don't love you leaving at all. What a wiener. <laughs> You're the you're fired guy, and you're too scared to tell Omarosa she's fired? They fired you? Gosh darn it. Oh. <laughs> oh, cheese and crackers. I, I don't love that you're leaving, but I, I do love cheese and crackers. What, <laughs> what were we talking about? Of course, that's what Trump said right after she was fired, talking to her directly, but he reacted differently this morning on Twitter and even debuted her official presidential nickname, Wacky Amorosa, <laughs> who got fired three times on The Apprentice, now got fired for the last time. <laughs> you do realize that means you hired her four times, right? <laughs> That's... <laughs> 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 but you know, but you know the old saying, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, also shame on you. <laughs> fool me two more times, maybe you should stop hiring this person. <laughs> but that was only the warm-up to the rest of the Trump takedown. She never made it, never will. She begged me for a job, tears in her eyes. I said, okay. People in the White House hated her. She was vicious, but not smart. I would rarely see her, but heard dot, 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 <laughs> dot, 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 really bad things, nasty to people, and would constantly miss meetings and work. When General Kelly came on board, he told me she was a loser and nothing but problems. I told him to try working it out, if possible, because she only said great things about me until she got fired. <laughs> So, let me get this straight. Let me see if I can figure this out here. So she's a loser who wouldn't show up to work, but you kept her on because she said nice things. <laughs> What's the interview process like there? Okay, you'll be working uh, at the White House, a lot of responsibility. So first question, do you think the president is a big, handsome boy? <laughs> Great, okay, good. Here's your key card, and, and here are the launch codes. There you go. <laughs> But there you go. Now, <laughs> lovely people. Lovely people. These are lovely people. All right. These are lovely Great people. Nice. Then Trump recognized that getting into the gutter with Omarosa might not be a good look, but he didn't really care. <laughs> and for reasons that will soon become apparent, I'm going to read this next tweet like a petulant 13 year old. While I know it's not presidential to take on a lowlife like Omarosa, and while I would rather not be doing so, this is a modern form of communication, and I know the fake news media will be working overtime to make even wacky Omarosa look legitimate as possible. Sorry. <laughs> and. <laughs> Couldn't hear the difference. And the excuse, I know it's not presidential, but this is a modern form of communication, does that make it okay? <laughs> we all remember when President Rutherford B. Hayes sent all those prank telegrams. <laughs> is your refrigerator running? <laughs> no, it hasn't been invented yet. <laughs> Boom. You got hazed. <laughs> Baba. <laughs> Booey. <laughs> now, <laughs> he invented that. He invented Baba Booey. Now, the media's been all over Omarosa's Omarosting of her former boss. But while they're reporting on it, they're also dismissing her as unreliable. 
She's built her reputation on being the villain. A liar, a backstabber, and a self-promoter. If anyone has less credibility than Donald Trump, it's actually probably Omarosa. The reality is this is not a serious person. Omarosa is of low character. Omarosa has no credibility? Yes. She is a liar and a backstabber with no credibility. Exactly like everyone else in the Trump administration. <laughs> she... So don't roll your eyes, okay? I just... The press can't have it both ways. They can't report on it and roll their eyes at the same time, okay? She's not below anyone else in the White House. She and General Kelly may have completely different pasts, but they have exactly the same future. You can never scrub off the Trump stank. <laughs> speaking, speaking, speaking of Trump fans, yesterday Washington, D.C. was bracing for a white nationalist rally. There was a lot of press build up to this. And the alt right, right came out in numbers, specifically the numbers between 20 to 25. <laughs> huh. Usually, when a couple dozen white supremacists gather in Washington, D.C., it's just a cabinet meeting. <laughs> in the end, in the end, there you go. Thank you, John. That's very kind. <laughs> All the white ones. In the end, even though the rally was scheduled to start at 5.30, the extremists arrived early, finished the demonstration, and left before that time. <laughs> Don't worry. A lot of guys have trouble achieving and maintaining a lasting insurrection. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. Nicki Minaj is here. But when we return, I give the president a geography lesson. Stick around.